So I'm, I'm here with Emily from Congregation. She's gonna show us around, tell us a little bit about the operation. This is one of my favorite spots in New Orleans, so I'm really excited for this. It's one of my favorite spots in New Orleans too, no way. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So you were telling me, what was, what was this before? So this used to be a mini art center, so we still have um, some of the kid art up, um, which is great. And my That's favorite, awesome. My favorite piece of kid art is Ooh, heck yeah. You guys should do a shirt with that, like a limited edition congregation, Darth Vader. How long have you guys been, been around? Um, we've been in this spot for about two years, but we've been a company for um, over five. Okay. Yeah, we started in the back of a shotgun style house. I don't know if you're familiar with New Orleans architecture. No. But um, shotgun style is where all the rooms sort of just line up one after the other. There's no like living room, then okay, that's yeah. here. It's usually just like either no hallway at all or one hallway in all of the rooms just okay. like uh -huh. yeah okay yeah. And so you started in the very back of that and then how long you've been in this specific location um about three okay. is that right Emily? maybe four three almost four i guess yeah okay but okay cool as far as yourself what is your go-to daily drink oh man i mean if i'm in the roastery Espresso. Okay. I, I, just straight. Just, just to spray. Yeah. Just All right. Straight. Yeah. <laughs> Not even like when you're dialing in. It's just like this is just what I need right now. Yeah. Okay. Just, I mean, it's like one of those things that's like I can't I can't make an espresso like I can make it here at home. Yeah. So like it's special and good. But if I'm at home, I'll just have good coffee. Yeah, for sure. I'm a simple woman. Awesome. <laughs> that's great. I I love myself some drip coffee as well. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think your customers love the most about congregation? I mean, we talked about it earlier, but I feel like we're just a really welcoming, accessible group of folks. Like, we're excited to bring you in to the coffee world. Um, specialty coffee often has this, like, reputation of being, like, sort of, uh, like, opaque and, like, mm -hmm. uh, a little pretentious. Yeah. And I like to, like, wipe that off, and I think we do that for our community really well. Awesome. That's great. What is your favorite part about the coffee industry? About the coffee industry? The coffee industry, yeah. Oh man, I th the, the coolest thing to me is that it's like, this industry is like so old, right? It's mm -hmm. like basically ancient. And yet there's still like always new, like science to learn, techniques to learn. Like I'm always like, you know, developing my palate, just like getting better. It's never, you're never done, even though it's like, it feels like that we should know everything already, but we yeah, don't. Uh -huh, yeah, <laughs> just always on the edge of the frontier, just always yeah. moving forward, that's great. Yeah. Um, okay, so you guys uh, use our cold brew packets. Mm -hmm. Why Why did you start doing that? Um, well, like we touched on now twice, the, so cold brew is often something people like venture out into the world for, and it's like the reason to go a, to a cafe mm -hmm. um, and if we can make that experience like accessible to people at home especially this past two years during mm -hmm. the pandemic um, having the ability to just like have this super duper special um, delicious beverage just like ready to go at home I think people were really excited about okay yeah. awesome and how has been the response from your customers on the on the packets what are they oh, what are they great. I, we have like, I mean, diehard fans that are like buying at least like one or two a week, which is great. Um, and it's also a really fun way to like introduce people to new uh, brewing methods. Yeah, brewing yeah. method at home. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. great. Uh, what do you think? That, and you can you can take this however you want. And if you don't have a great answer, it's totally fine. What do you see as the future of cold brew for your shop? Ooh, interesting. This is actually uh, a cool question because we have some maybe super secret projects in the works okay uh, currently all right um but to be vague but also okay do it yeah it. Oh. um we are gonna maybe do some some things that are a little bit more experimental okay in the like tasting Awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm there. I'm there. Thanks so much for, for supporting Alto. We're stoked to be here. This is honestly one of my favorite shops in, in the nation because 
Uh, I just love the outside, love the facade. But you said you guys are moving across the river pretty soon. Cafe Sing. Roasting. Oh, the Cafe Sing. Okay, so we're getting, we're okay. Cool. Um, roasting is, uh, we're growing too much. Yeah, we that's a more, great problem to have. Awesome. It is, it is great. Yeah, well, congratulations. We're excited that you've partnered with Alto on the, on the packets. I'm excited too. <laughs> right. Cool. Well, I'm going to grab one of those bagels and uh, probably a shirt as well. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.